This is Father Jim Corda. On behalf of your Catholic friends and neighbors in the Diocese of Youngstown, I invite you to join us for this celebration of the Holy Mass. Welcome to our celebration of Holy Mass. Today is the 28th Sunday in Ordinary Time. Our celebrant is Father Chad Johnson from University Parish Newman Center in Kent, Ohio. I am Meg Daniluk from St. Mary's in Mineral Ridge and St. Stephen's in Niles. As we pray this Mass, let us remember in our prayers Mary Catherine Livingston. Healing river of the Spirit, bathe the wounds that living brings. Plunge our pain, our sin, our sadness deep beneath your sacred springs. Weary from the restless searching that has lured us from our side, we discover in your presence peace the world cannot provide. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, as we gather together today to offer praise and worship to our God, let us acknowledge our sinfulness, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty, to Almighty God, God and to, and to you, you, my brothers, brothers and sisters, sisters that, that I have greatly sinned in my, in my thoughts and in my words, in what, what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through, through my fault, through my fault, through my, my most grievous, grievous fault. Therefore, therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the, all the angels and saints, and you, and to my, you brothers my brothers and sisters, sisters to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us forgive us our sins, and lead us to life everlasting. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to Glory God to in God the in highest, highest, and, and on, on earth, earth peace, peace to people, to people of, of goodwill. Good we, we praise you, you we bless you, we adore you, we glorify, glorify you, we give you thanks for your great Lord. glory. Lord God, God Heavenly King, King O, o God, God, Almighty Father, Father Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ, Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lord God Lamb, Lamb of God, Son of, Son of the Father, you take, you take away the sins of the world, world. have mercy on us. You, you take away the sins of the world, world. receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with, with the Holy Spirit, Spirit in, the in the glory of God, God the Father. Father. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. May your grace, O Lord, we pray, at all times go before us and follow after, and make us always determined to carry out good works. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the second book of Kings. Naaman went down and plunged into the Jordan seven times at the word of Elisha, the man of God. His flesh became again like the flesh of a little child and he was clean of his leprosy. Naaman returned with his whole retinue to the man of God. On his arrival, he stood before Elisha and said, Now I know that there is no God in all the earth except in Israel. Please accept a gift from your servant. Elisha replied, As the Lord lives whom I serve, I will not take it. And despite Naaman's urging, he still refused. Naaman said, If you will not accept, please let me, your servant, have two mule loads of earth, 
for I will no longer offer holocaust or sacrifice to any other God except to the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord has revealed to the nations his saving power. The Lord has revealed to his, the nations his saving power. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done wondrous deeds. His right hand has won victory for him, his holy arm. The Lord has revealed to the nations his saving power. The Lord has made his salvation known. In the sight of the nations, he has revealed his justice. He has remembered his kindness and his faithfulness toward the house of Israel. The Lord has revealed to the nations his saving power. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation by our God. Sing joyfully to the Lord, all you lands. Break into song, sing praise. The Lord has revealed to the nations his saving power. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to Timothy. Beloved, remember Jesus Christ, raised from the dead, a descendant of David. Such is my gospel for which I am suffering, even to the point of chains like a criminal. But the word of God is not chained. Therefore, I bear with everything for the sake of those who are chosen, so that they too may obtain the salvation that is in Christ Jesus, together with eternal glory. This saying is trustworthy. If we have died with him, we shall also live with him. If we persevere, we shall also reign with him. But if we deny him, he will deny us. If we are unfaithful, he remains faithful, for he cannot deny himself. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. In all circumstances give thanks. For this is the will of God for you in Christ Jesus. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. As Jesus continued his journey to Jerusalem, he traveled through Samaria and Galilee. As he was entering a village, ten lepers met him. They stood at a distance from him and raised their voices, saying, Jesus, Master, have pity on us. And when he saw them, he said, Go show yourselves to the priests. As they were going, they were cleansed. And one of them, realizing he had been healed, returned, glorifying God in a loud voice. And he fell at the feet of Jesus and thanked him. He was a Samaritan. Jesus said in reply, Ten were cleansed, were they not? Where are the other nine? Has none but this foreigner returned to give thanks to God? Then he said to him, Stand up and go. Your faith has saved you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Where are the other nine? Quite a stinging question, for being honest. But it's a, an important one, I believe, that we need to deal with. Our gospel story tells us about an encounter between Jesus Christ and ten lepers. Moved with pity, Jesus sends them on their way and heals them from this terrible illness. All ten realize their great fortune and the mighty work of Jesus Christ in their life. 
but it is only one of them. One that comes back to Christ, praising God and giving thanks to Jesus for his great gift of healing. Now herein lies the lesson for us to learn this day. In facing our own challenges and our own struggles, how often we turn to God for help. And rightly so. There is nothing we can do apart from the grace and mercy of Jesus Christ working in our lives. Pleading with God, we ask for help. And in doing so, we receive from him exactly what we need. But how often do we fail to thank him for all of these gifts? How often do we end up playing the part of one of those nine others who were healed but failed to give thanks? Today's gospel reading is an opportunity for all of us. It's an opportunity to start again, to reflect in the depths of our hearts, to realize those times in which we have failed, and to ask our Father of infinite mercy for the grace and the courage to start anew. So that moving forward with our faith renewed and embracing the adventure of Christ, we won't be one of the nine, but we'll heed the call to walk in the footsteps of that one Samaritan and give all the glory to God. Together now we profess that one faith we all hold and believe. I believe, I believe in, one in one God, God Father the Father Almighty, Almighty maker, maker of heaven, of heaven and, earth, and earth, of all, all things visible and invisible. And invisible. I, I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, Christ the, the only begotten Son, Son of God, born, born of the, the Father before all ages, God from God, God light from light, from light true God, God from true God, God begotten not made, made consubstantial with the Father, Father through him, through him all, all things were made. For us, for us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will, he will come, come again, again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Placing all of our trust and all of our hope in our Father in heaven, we turn to him now with these, our prayers. For the church, that we may be ever grateful to God for all the gifts we have received, instilling in all people a spirit of thankfulness and appreciation, let us pray to the Lord, Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For Native Americans, that they may be treated with dignity and respect, and that their histories and cultures may be treasured by our country, let us pray to the Lord, Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For those who suffer from physical or mental illness, that they may know our Lord's healing presence in their lives, let us pray to the Lord, Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer that we may give witness to others of our constant gratitude to God for all the blessings we have received, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear, Lord, our, prayer. hear our prayer. Almighty Father, God of infinite mercy, you are the source of every good gift. We lift up to you this day these our prayers of need. We ask that you grant them to us in your time and according to your holy will. For we ask them all in the power of the Spirit, and in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, who is Lord, forever and ever. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and the work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and the work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept, O Lord, the prayers of your faithful with the sacrificial offerings, that through these acts of devotedness we may pass over to the glory of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For out of compassion for the waywardness that is ours, he humbled himself and was born of the Virgin. By the passion of the cross, he freed us from unending death, and by rising from the dead, he gave us life eternal. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end, we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. O Son in the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. O Son in the highest, O Son in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Columba and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, and David, our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, our merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy, thy will, will be done. done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy. worthy. You should, you enter, should under enter under my roof, my roof but only say, say the word, word and my soul shall be healed. healed.
my Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Blessed Sacrament. I love you above all things and desire to receive you into my soul, since I cannot receive you sacramentally. Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. We entreat your majesty most humbly, O Lord, that as you feed us with the nourishment which comes from the most holy body and blood of your Son, so you may make us sharers of his divine nature, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Thanks be to God whose love has gathered us this day. Thanks be to God who helps and guides us on our way. Thanks be to God who gives us voice that we may thank him. Deo gratias, Deo gratias, thanks be to God most high. Thanks be to God for all the gifts of life and light. Thanks be to God whose care protects us day and night. Thanks be to God who keeps in mind us who forget him. Deo gratias, Deo gratias, thanks be to God most high. Thanks be to God who knows our secret joys and fears. 